Uh, we're recording. Mm -hmm. uh, Who's pink your favorite pink Star Wars pink? character? In uh, the color code for Mando's, or is favorite it Star Wars character? Well, that's a Star toughie because I have a couple of favorite Star Wars characters. Mm. As far as favorite male uh, role, it's Mace Windu. Favorite female would have to be Asaz Ventress. Hmm. Okay, pick the next person. Well, uh, favorite Star Wars character. I have to. I have to go with Darth Vader. I mean, I just the the imposing nature. I mean, he was he's the eponymous movie villain. I love him too much. <laughs> Okay, Rob. Okay. Um, any and all Mandalorians. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do have a soft spot for Bo Katan because a lot of my armor is modeled after hers. Well, she's still a Mandalorian, so <laughs> you haven't gone outside that Venn diagram. Yes. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, who's, do I think who's next? Master Guru? I mean, Grogu. <laughs> I mean, yeah, come on. It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wonder what the hell he put he, he put Ben Solo through to turn him to the dark side. I mean, you know Grogu was a bully at the Academy. Probably stole his cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Luke, listen to me. I'm telling you, he's a mean kid. I find your lack of cookies disturbing. <laughs> Sharing is caring. <laughs> yep. Okay, Flar. Laura. Hold on. I can't hear. Oh. Well, my stuff is all dead from Pensacon. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to find batteries so I can hear over my fan, and it's like, oh, no. Oh, no. It's who is your favorite Star Wars character? Oh, gosh. Probably Ewoks. Uh, the cuddly terrors. Yes. There's so much Tree potential dwellers. there. Tree dwellers. Okay, next question um, comes from the audience. Can somebody th think of a question? Now that Disney owns both Star Wars and Marvel, what crossover movie would you like to see most? I want to see Fetpool. That's oh, right. The no. girl with the mouth becomes the bounty hunter who bitches all through the galaxy. <laughs> I'd like to see more of Gina Carrero. Yeah. Me too. Yep. She's I'm awesome. Not, I'm not really much for crossovers because they get they get a little bit weird. That's the whole fun of them. Mando mashups are pretty cool. Mm. And then the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a little bit OP at the moment. <laughs> mm. That's a girl. Mm. I gotta agree with him. I don't like crossovers. <laughs> Okay, Rab, do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. What's um, everyone's favorite lightsaber? The dark saber. <laughs> Ahsoka's, Ahsoka's final lightsabers. Those are nice. The kind of squarish looking ones. Those things are amazing. Mm -hmm. I have 
say Ray's lightsaber because it's the first time since the 1977 Luke Skywalker four inch action figure that we've actually seen a yellow lightsaber in canon. Mm. And also, I just love the switch just being that instead of a button that they that you press, it's a. I, I just found her lightsaber neat and severely Turn underused. Turn the knob, ignite. Yeah. Severely underused. They need to do more yellow ones. Mm. That's a Grogu. Do you have? Um. <laughs> What's that one? It's mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite lightsaber is my own. Yeah. <laughs> and what color is it? White? Green. Green? Okay. Laura, you have one? Mm, nope. Sorry, I didn't hear the question. Favorite lightsaber. Oh, I have three lightsabers. Oh. <laughs> I have a short offhand red, and I have a green ultra saber with a silver hilt, and I have a blue ultra saber with a black hilt. One that's extremely underrated that a lot of people don't know about because they haven't played the game is uh, Cal's lightsaber from Jedi Fallen Order. Mm. I yeah, really like that one. What color is that one? Uh, user selected. Uh, I've played the game too. Uh, do you mean Cal's single bladed lightsaber, or do you mean going to basically how it first started? Dathomir. Off. Okay, because if you go to Dathomir right after the first level, you can yeah, get the I, yeah, right. then you get the double and everything. Yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's mainly the um, emitter that's uh, that makes it really stand out. Yeah, with the the forks. Yeah on either side or the tines or whatever i actually have one of those that's uh i'm waiting for it to come in from ultra sabers i just ordered one mm. oh that's cool yeah. i'm gonna add it to uh, my character's canon uh, I like how i'm glad to see that i'm not the only one who loves ultra sabers i actually just sent my uh v5 dark apprentice uh for warranty repair after my son and i uh, well my son must learn control, but uh, my son and I, because I have a stunt saber and I use the V5, and he managed to crack it on the base with a wild swing, and the speaker just went to uh, to hell. And I, I'm not even mad because he got potential. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, Elsa Sabers gets a lot of bad press and everything. But I think because of all that bad press, they've really been stepping up their game because I had submitted uh, a couple of inquiries and everything, and they got right on it. I mean, they were really, really good about it. Sure, mm -hmm. my inquiry, uh, the problem um, was that at first I thought they weren't responding, but the problem is that when they do respond, for whatever reason, it goes to your trash folder. So yeah. there's mm -hmm. that, but they've been really stepping up their game and everything and doing pretty good. So. Yeah, I know 2020 was a bad year for them, but who wasn't it a bad year oh, for, right. but they, they had a, they had a massive backlog. And, um, I remember because I was actually ordering a blade at the time and they had actually offered me three different options. If I didn't want to wait an extra X number of weeks. And by that point I'd been waiting a couple of months and they usually have a two week turnaround. So I was like, no, I've waited this long. I'll wait for what I want. So, uh, so I trust the company and I, I like the product. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, next question. What do you love the most about Star Wars? Um, Master. The first six movies. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, the story. Uh, I'm... I'm D&D &D player, you know, I love the story. Wow. Okay, pick the next person. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Rap. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this might sound weird. Uh, 
everything Mandalorian, but I'm particular. Um, while I like those first six as well, um, the Mandalorian's really got me. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to the Book of Boba Fett. And I'm also enjoying the Bad Batch. Uh, Tech's helmet is amazing. I would love to have a translating program in my helmet. That's awesome. Um, yeah, Tech is going to be my next cosplay. Okay. Oh, that'd be so nice to see. I, I think I'm going to go with Hunter. That'd be nice too. Pick the next um, person. I'm still a little intimidated by doing a full armor cosplay, but uh, eventually. You look great. <laughs> okay, Rab, you can pick um, the next person. I pick me next. Who's that? I picked you next. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like the Clone Wars. Um, just because he gave some backstory on the Boba Fett and Jango Fett, and just it it kind of solidified some stuff together. I like that. Um, Lar. Yeah. Um, the thing that I like the most about Star Wars is the versatility. Um, and the mm. fact that there's so many different aspects if you find something you like wait a few minutes you'll find something else and if you find something you don't like again wait a few minutes you'll find something else <laughs> it's just every single bit about every single movie there's something so i can't say there's one movie in particular that i like but that's what i like as a whole okay we got steven and loose left uh, well, I'm chatty, so I'll try and keep it brief, but basically my answer is almost exactly the same. It's not any particular movie, although I am of the controversial opinion that The Last Jedi is neck and neck with Empire for best of the movies. But I, I, I just love the fact that in Star Wars, anyone can be anything. You, you might be a Jedi. You, you might be a Mando. You could be a bounty hunter. Uh, you could just be some weirdo with a mask. I mean, it was, uh, I was six years old when Star Wars came out and it literally affected the rest of my life. It's the reason I'm a writer. I'm being chatty. I'm sorry. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's Star Wars. What's my favorite part about it? Star Wars. That's it. Everything under the umbrella. Okay. So you got the Star Wars umbrella going on. Uh, I prefer to consider it a planetary defense shield. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. My mask is actually fogged up, so I don't know who hasn't said what yet, so I'll let you pick the next person to talk. Okay, Lelouch. I like the deep universe. Basically, the fact that Star Wars, when it was created, it was basically a movie with a bunch of different things, but it took place in a galaxy. And what's so great about it is, is that a galaxy is a vast expanse of stars and planets, and basically you can travel among them, and there's just so much in it. Basically, you can take anything in star wars and you can make it into something more you can uh, make your own story basically you're not just confined to the canon or anything like that you can pick something completely out of this war out of the out of the way that most people wouldn't even think about and you can make a story out of it like um my character originally i was actually going to make make uh Pixis a boss which a lot of people don't know about because they've never played uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. But the Voss are a, ra a race of very interestingly skinned uh, creatures um, from the planet Voss. And they come in two colors. They come in kind of an orangish red and a blue-violet color. And depending on what their skin color is, their eyes are the opposite color. But their skin kind of has this kind of uh, hexagonal pattern to it and everything. And they're a very, very interesting race. But, but that's what's so great about Star Wars is that there are so many races, so many creatures, and so many different things 
that you can bring to life and you can play upon and you can expand the story to basically fill an entire galaxy. There is no end to Star Wars, really. All right. With that, uh, we can go into backstories. If you have a backstory or if you're thinking about a backstory, I'd like to hear that from Master Gru. Okay. Well, I'm 300 years old, and uh, I am hunting for Din Djarin's killer. <laughs> so, that's the basics. I got it wrote down somewhere, but I don't have it in front of me. So, not like I could see it anyway. Sorry, ran away. I'm back. Okay, I guess you get the question. Okay. If you have a backstory, we'd like to hear it. Or if you're thinking about a backstory, just the basics of it. Gosh. Well, I don't have a backstory yet. Um, but the, it has to be centered around something to do with the sun. I don't know why. I guess the obnoxious orange that I like so much. Um, I don't know. I've been trying to stop and think about it, but. I can come up with stories for other people, but for myself, it's a lot harder. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Okay, who are you gonna pick? Who hasn't gone? Rav, Steven, or Loose? Loose. Uh, okay, ah, there's water, lots of water. Um, which is actually part of my backstory in a way. <laughs> um, my backstory pretty much falls into the time of the uh, Old Republic. I'm one of the uh, original Mandalorians uh, back during the days of uh, warring and fierce battle. I served under um, Shea Vizsla during the time of the Inther Eternal Throne campaign. Saved her from my fate, which was everybody who was caught inside the chamber was captured and frozen in carbonite. Some were released two years later. Unfortunately, I was stuck in Carbonite for over 300 years and then came to be in modern times, which I guess is around about the time, uh, sometime after uh, the uh, Battle of Endor. So kind of around the fall of the Empire. Um, other than that, my uh, the rest of my story is kind of pending because it kind of reflects a lot on my real life as well so we'll see how that plays out take it away steven oh thank you uh well costa wilb is uh just basically um as i touched on earlier a mandalorian from a very uh militant uh, tribe of Mandalorians who was exiled for accidentally using the force to save his hunting party from whatever it was they were hunting. I, I haven't got the, anything more than a real sketch and the colors are black and purple in Mando canon that's uh, justice and luck and that's basically his his philosophy justice is luck and instead of being a bounty hunter instead of wearing the armor as i said why do i need beskar when the force is my armor i was trained to use the force by a former jedi and i travel the far reaches just trying to dispense fairness and justice wherever i end up cool Okay, rather like me in a sense, uh, considering that the Pixis clan is uh, descendants of uh, pa, uh, Tar Vizsla. But we never do something so foolish. <laughs> well, uh, this is actually from dear old dad the first time I used the Force. <laughs> Go on. Uh, yeah. Every scar has a story on this helmet. Okay, Rob, it's up to you. Okay, yeah. As he was <laughs> saying about what's on, you know, helmet and all. Well, with my whole armor, 
um, it represents my 20 years of bad times with men. So every piece of damage, that's what it represents. Uh, although next to got me here, um, I'm uh, traveling the whole galaxy, going planet to planet. I started out at a uh, small unnamed planet uh, in the outer rim. Um, I'm in search of the ultimate bounty, but in the meantime, um, I bounty hunt, and since uh, those jobs are kind of for between at the moment, um, in between that, I'm a part time marshal uh, and uh, let's see, oh, and um, I met many interesting people on the way. Um, I'm taking both my daughters with me on this journey, but my oldest uh, quit being Mandalorian. However, my uh, younger daughter is uh, training in the ways of the Mandalorian um, and uh, helps me out a bit on those bounty hunts. Uh, my story is based both on reality and I fictionalized it a bit. Um, yeah, I'll never know which planet I'm going to next be on as I travel around. I'm wherever I'm needed. Uh, v, did you get a chance? I did not. Um, I wear pink to show my support for my wife who has breast cancer. And I uh, was in the throne room when it was taken over and the dark saber was was stolen and I'm part of a guard that that protects the lightsaber the dark saber so I'm off into the universe to try to find the true owner of the dark saber and help support them and I wear the dog tags of my fellow um, group that was slaughtered at the at the throne. Oh. So you're part of the Mandalorian Royal Guard. Right. Yeet. Okay, I think that was everybody. Well, everybody have a great time. We enjoyed this recording and please hit like and subscribe and follow us on the Mandalorian Mercs. Oh, take it away, Lelouch. Where am I taking it to and why does it need to go away? The, where, where everybody can find us. Typically, you can find us on Facebook under the Mandalorian Morale, Mandalorian and Allies Morale Boosting Association, Mamba for short. But you can typically find us there, and you can find links to our website and other pages and our Discord. Uh, if you basically cosplay as uh, really any Star Wars character or anything like that, feel free to join us. That's why we got the Allies part in there, because we don't turn away anybody. We're all one big happy family, and we're happy to have you in our clan. All right.